He's gonna kill it for all of you. So put your hands together for Richard. Yeah, no pressure or anything. Yeah, the best comedian in the world. Are you ready? Yeah, Jesus. Uh, well, I'm also from England. Um, yeah, like I said, my name's Richard. I I don't like introducing myself normally. I don't like introductions in general because introductions are stressful. Um, I don't know if you suffer from the same thing I do, but. When I have to introduce myself to people, I can't think. Because all I can think about is, don't fuck up your name. You've been saying it all your life, do not fuck up your name. So I'm thinking, just say, hello, my name's Richard, hello, my name's Richard, hello, my name's Richard. So I walk up and go, hello, my name's Richard, nice to meet you. And then I think, okay, that went pretty well, didn't fuck that up. Oh shit, they just said their name. What the fuck was their name? Uh, okay, it was J J something with J, Joe, John, J Jesus, that can't be right. Uh, okay, for fuck's sake, there's another person I can never speak to again. But um, that's not the worst way to introduce yourself, because I know the worst way to introduce yourself, because I lived it. I was starting a new job, and uh, I was meeting my new boss for the first time. And uh, we were meeting outside, because it was an outdoor job, and uh, I saw him across the street. And so I crossed the street to go and meet him. And as I was about one meter away from him, this car, which I hadn't seen, almost hit me. And the driver honked his horn, and I was shocked. So I jumped. Unfortunately, I jumped forwards towards my new boss. So now I'm about a centimeter away from his face. And that'd be bad enough as an introduction if I hadn't have screamed, fucking Jesus Christ, <laughs> right into his face. Because it's very difficult to come back from fucking Jesus Christ. You can't play that off and continue a normal conversation like fucking Jesus Christ. <laughs> not, not Jesus Christ, Richard. I'm Richard. Nice to meet you. I do a job for you now? But, um, yeah. So, the thing is, uh, I'm single and as I imagine a lot of the other comedians are from some of their fucking material. And, uh, Yep. Girls love it when you talk about rape. Um, yeah, and uh, I'm single, so one of my friends recommended uh, this dating app to me. Now, I had never used online dating before, but he promised me this was different. And uh, it's called Tinder. Some of you might know it. Who's, uh, who's heard of Tinder before? Yes. Mm -hmm. it's okay, so now we've identified all the sad, lonely people in the room. Uh, let me explain to the rest of you normies what, uh, what Tinder is. Basically, Tinder is an app for your phone. You open it up and you get a picture of, in my case, a woman. And you have to decide, based on a couple of photos, and if you share the same interests on Facebook, whether you like this person or not. And if you do, you swipe right, and if you don't, you swipe left. Um, now, I'm not looking for a one-night stand. I'm looking for a relationship. So, when I first started using Tinder, I took it way too seriously. I spent like 10 minutes on every person's profile thinking, well, I don't know, I mean, could I wake up next to that face every day for the rest of my life? What would our children look like? Is the fact that we both like Breaking Bad enough to base a whole relationship on? But, um, yeah, I mean, the thing is, that didn't last very long. After about half an hour, I was the most shallow, judgmental person in the world, just sitting there like, no, no. No, too ugly, too ugly, too attractive. <laughs> don't like your hat, don't like your friends. One of your eyes is a bit weird. Um, but the thing is, it's only technology that allows us to do that. Because, can you imagine that situation in real life? You've just got hundreds of women lined up in front of you while you lie in bed, half-dressed, with a bowl of cereal, just going, no, no, too much makeup. Not enough makeup. That's a cat. That's a picture of a cat. Yes, but we'll never have the confidence to speak to you. So, uh, yeah, I'm. Um, the other thing I've noticed on social media, not just Tinder, but Facebook and, and Instagram and all these things, is there seems to be a trend now amongst young women of when they pose for photos, they do this this certain pose, which is a bit like this. 
And I assume what they think is that it makes them look confident and cool and sexy, like Beyonce or something. Well, I'm here to tell you, it makes you look like you've got a fucking bone disease. Yeah, just started a few months ago. Doctor says I may never walk normally again, but, uh, whoop, selfie. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I mean, the other thing I've noticed uh, with social media is um, there's a lot of pictures of girls, a lot of, a lot of a new fashion trend of, of the hipster girl. Now, hipster is a, is a strange term because it's not really, it's very vague, it's not really about Hitler, but yeah, you can drop me off here, here's fine, here's fine, but we're on a bridge. That's right, I live here, I live on this bridge. There's a direct correlation between how right-wing a taxi driver is and how far I have to walk home. I don't think I've ever made it home in a taxi. But um, the thing that taxi drivers have to deal with a lot, one of the things which I, I hate, is people giving me directions. Because when someone starts giving me directions to their house, I have to sit there and nod and pretend I'm listening. And what I really want to do is say, shut the fuck up. This is not 1980. I have an iPhone. Just tell me your address, I'll type it in this magic box and it'll lead me straight to your door. I don't need to know which fucking stars to follow. <laughs> but, um, yeah. And then the other thing is, again, it's a direct correlation between how long someone takes to tell me their address and the likelihood of me ever actually turning up. It goes straight down. But, um, yeah, I, um, the other thing that I wanted to talk about, if I can remember it, was, oh yeah, I'm an English teacher. Good to remember that, especially in lessons. Um, but I'm an English teacher, so I speak English a lot. And uh, unfortunately it means I don't have enough time to practice my German, so my German is not very good. And I like the German language, and I want to get better at it. Um, it's, it's logical, it, you know, you write words and they look like they sound, which, you know, helps. Um, but the one thing I do have a big problem with is the fucking articles. Der, die, das, den, dem, ein, einer, einaldo, einaudi, Einstein. I don't give a fuck what do they mean. They don't have any use whatsoever. And I have to learn all 500 of them. But I've, I've devised a system now. I've devised a system. Because before I used to guess and, you know, get loads wrong. But I've devised a system. Alternate. Masculine, feminine, neutral. Masculine, feminine, neutral. Der Katze ist auf die Tisch mit das Milch. Perfect. <laughs> Every time. Try it. But uh, it's actually better than what my friend came up with. Uh, this is genuinely true. They tried to avoid the whole der, die, das problem by referring to everything in the plural. So they'd be sat in a restaurant and say, yes, I will have beers, please and chickens. I'm on my own now, but uh, my mother's will be coming later. But uh, 